I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm in the head hut here and just having a quick thought that I wanted to share. I am a big advocate of not needing any specific tools, any specific area, any specific outfit. If you listen to me long enough, you will likely hear me say it doesn't take any specific thing, um, place, aspect in order to show up for yourself regularly, be true to you, work on your own fitness, your own freedom, your own path to wellness, which is an ongoing adventure. So uh, I want to I wanna start by bookending my point with that because I, I still very much believe that. And I also very much believe in using tools, the right tool for the right job, and the tools of self-improvement, of wellness, of fitness, of freedom, well, they're ever-changing. They're perhaps a little bit more dynamic and uh, uniquely specific to us individually at certain times than the good old hammer uh, which just a little asterisk, there are many different kinds of hammers for different types of jobs as well. So um, my analogy starts to fall apart quickly for me. The point is, I like tools. There are tools that I use. And in fact, I've uh, been working on a book about easy to use quick tools for wellness, for well-being, for fitness, for freedom. Uh, for self-management, all the all the things I'm into. So hopefully you'll see that eventually. I think it's going to be called the Two Minute Tool Book, or box, or belt. Probably book. You think? <laughs> Unless I can make a book belt. Hmm. Anyway, I get uh, I get off topic there. Uh, the tool I want to talk about right now, which I'm just thinking of because I'm wearing my blingy, sparkly shirt, is self-signaling. Um, and so all of that said, what I just said, I use this area, for example, in the head hut here, which is a very unique, one-of-a-kind, mega sculpture um, meditation space that I built myself so I know exactly <clears throat> how one-of-a-kind it is. I designed and built it. There's nothing else like it, nor will there ever be. And this space is a way that I use, a tool I use to signal myself into a meditative state and or into a stretching and strengthening routine ment you know, mentality. And as I've been traveling again, after not traveling for a long time, I've been reminded that those things are important to this, this human animal body is quite predictably uh, patterned and and tra easily trained and susceptible to environmental cues, highly so, very visual, although uh, I'm struggling with my various glasses right now, waiting on my new contacts. Anyway, that's a that's a different point. Back to self-signaling. So uh, one of my favorite mentors, Tom Bilyeu, talks a lot about self-signaling, and I do recommend looking him up if you're interested. Impact Theory, uh, shout out to them. They have been a, a big positive influence in my life. Lots of great stuff there. Self-signaling is a way to just like the name implies, signal to yourself uh, a certain mental state or a certain, um, it's often related to a mental state. So as I mentioned, this area self, you know, signals to me that I'm probably going to do, give some body work or do some meditating or do some stretching and strengthening. So something physical and aligned and it helps me both the shape of it, the fact that I built it, the, uh, this is the back of the mind. It's in the shape of a head. And I spent a lot of time formulating, formulating, designing a pattern to it, which is significant to me. And that's <clears throat> another thing I want to point out is that self-signaling doesn't have to be um, obvious or even understandable to anyone else but you. 
it's important to find what works for you. I'm wearing my blingy shirt, and that's what got me thinking about it initially is because I was feeling a little bit wobbly, a little bit um, low this morning. And so I like to, and I'm getting ready to go do more um, work in the mountains where I won't be seen and where I have no reason to dress up. And in fact, I have ample reason to dress down because I'm often doing a lot of housework and painting, which is great. I love the dynamics of my life. But what I've come to recognize in doing a little bit more of that than usual lately is that I really like um, to dress up. I like to be seen. I like to share. I like to celebrate. And part of that is wearing sparkly things. I like sparkly things in my eyes. And so, um, you know, I'm I'm at the stage of my life where I don't care much at all what anybody else thinks. Actually, I think I've been at that stage most of my life. Uh, but I have a fresh version of it. It's called the 50-year-old me. Um, so, there. The uh, fit and free and 50-year-old me just wants to remind you that self-signaling is a valuable tool. You can use it however works for you. There's not one way. There's not a right, wrong, wrong way, except for what does or doesn't work for you. So I encourage you to play with that. Maybe think about that a little bit. What kind of signals are you sending to yourself with your environment? I just did my dishes, speaking of. Little things like that can really signal to us, whatever they mean. There are times in my life where I don't do my dishes, and that might signal to someone else that I'm depressed. Um, and sometimes it might mean that, but other times it might mean that I'm so, <clears throat> pardon me, enthralled, like when I was building this, for example, in a creative process, which is like a birthing process for me, that I am able to not care about a lot of external things that might be a big deal to other people. And again, that's just me. There's not a rightness or a wrongness to it. And I encourage you to examine what works for you. What do you like? What kind of signals are you sending to yourself? And um, what kind of signals do you like to send to yourself? And if you care to share, I sure would love to know. I think it's beautiful that we're all different. We're all unique. That's important. And also, one of my passions is communication and sharing. So uh, please do. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the description if you want to find ways of connecting with me and supporting me. As always, until next time, I wish you shininess, love and laughter, playfulness, fitness, freedom. Don't forget to love yourself because you're worth it. Ciao for now.